so the next result is regarding the basis series so of a function f suppose that f of x is defined on the interval 0 to 1 and it can be expressed as f of x is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity an jp lambda n x that means a function which is defined over the interval 0 to 1 it can be expressed as a series of bessel's function where this lambda n are the positive zeros of fix jpx for p greater than or equal to 0 then prove that the coefficient that is an are given by an is equal to 2 by jp plus 1 lambda n square integration from 0 to 1 x f x into j p lambda n d x. That means one you can once you can express this function as a series of Bessel's function, then this coefficient you can calculate. using this formula where this lambda n which is expressed here is a zeros of this bessel's function let us try to prove this statement suppose that f of x is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity an jp lambda n x is there so if i expand this one this is a1 j1 jp lambda 1 x plus a2 jp lambda 2 x up to so on that is equal to f of x if i multiply so i want to prove this is the well i want to find out what is the value of an that is ultimate goal of ours so i just integrate first i will multiply this fx is already on this side so i multiply jp lambda n and i will use the orthogonal property to prove this one so i multiply this expression that is this by jp lambda n so multiply each term by x into jp lambda mx and then we integrate from 0 to 1 in between 0 to 1 we integrate that so that means first i have to multiply x into jp lambda m here where m is a fix so that is integration 0 to 1 x fx into jp lambda m x dx so first i have multiply this quantity x into jp lambda x now that same quantity will multiply on the other side That is summation n running from one to infinity. 
an is independent of x then it is integration 0 to 1 x into jp lambda m x that I have multiplied into jp lambda n x is there dx. Now to apply this orthogonal property we know that in the previous things we have already proved that the orthogonal property with the weight lambda uh, sorry with the weight weight x let us write that note that the orthogonal property of Bessel's function is integration 0 to 1 x lambda p sorry, jp lambda mx jp lambda nx dx will be 0 if lambda is not equal to n and it is 2 by 1 upon 2 jp plus 1 lambda n square if lambda or m is equal to n. So this is the things we have. So here this summation is running from 1 to infinity. That means whenever this m and n are not same at that time this integration will become 0 due to this m equal m is not equal to n then it will be 0 if it is equal then we have this. So what we can have from this equation 1 is this summation will contains only one term and all rest of the term will become 0 whenever it is m equal to n. So we can have that is equal to integration 0 to 1 x fx jp lambda m x dx will be a m upon 2 jp plus 1 lambda m whole square. So therefore the value of a m it is 2 by jp plus 1 lambda m whole square into integration 0 to 1 x fx into jp lambda m x dx. And if you replace this and this is true for any fix value and m is arbitrary so I can say that m is running from 1 to up to infinity. So this is for any m this is true. So what we can have proved here if we can trying to express this function into the form of a Bessel's function or in the series of Bessel's function then your coefficient can be evaluated or can be calculated using this integration formula. So here we need to write one remark is that that the series which we have written so I should say this is a remark the series fx is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity a n j p lambda n x it's called Bessel's series of f of x or it is called Fourier this is another name is also there it is called Fourier Bessel's series of f of x so this is called Fourier Bessel series and we state that the following result without proof will assume this the following result without proof which gives the condition 
under which the bessels series actually converge with the sum fx so in the previously it was not guarantee that whether it is if fx is represent in this fashion then it will converge whether this series is converge but the next theorem which we are trying to discuss it tells you that under that theorem or under that condition this series is converge to f of x so what is that theorem let us write that means what is the function which satisfy or for which it has to be there so we have to assume that f and f dash of x have at most finitely many points of jump discontinuity that means a function has the finitely many di jump discontinuity is there on the interval 0 to 1 and if the interval 0 in the interval 0 1 if your x is between 0 and 1 then the bessels series that is summation n running from 1 to infinity an jp lambda n x converge to f of x when x is a point of continuity of f of x so at the continuous point we'll have this and it converges to its average value that is the average value between f dash of x and f double dash of x when that is a, this is f this fx minus and fx plus represent the right hand limit and left hand limit the average value of right hand limit and left hand limit it's converges to that point when x is a point of discontinuity of f of x it's like the same things which you have discussed for fourier series so when you have a fourier series when the fourier series is possible when you will have on that interval the function has finitely many discontinuity and then the bessels the fourier series is exist and it is converges to a function if it is a point of continuity is there if it is converges to a function at the point of discontinuity then you have to take the average value of the right hand limit and the left hand limit at that point so that is the things which we have to remember or we have to assume this result to discuss or to achieve that this fx can be expressed as a fourier series or expressed as a bessels or i can say fourier bessels series of that quantity